Today we're doing a hypnotic recipe. That's it. It's just got hypnotic and some juices. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and I'm trying to be real low-key because it's, it's like different. I can't do this. I'm trying really hard. Uh, the hidden, hidden hypnotic recipe. This recipe was submitted by Jazz22, J-A-S-S-S-2-2 on GarnishBar.com. It's got hypnotic, a little bit of grenadine, two splashes of grenadine. Had a comment last week saying, what does that actually mean, two splashes? Why not one big splash? Good question. I say half ounce, two splashes, a quarter ounce each. We've got an ounce and a half of pineapple juice and an ounce and a half of orange juice. Freshly freaking squeezed orange juice right there. Why? Because I have no oranges in my house. I was going to have to use orange banana pineapple orange juice. And then I found an orange that was like starting to go bad. I squeezed it and it was it was nice and juicy. I was very surprised. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw a little bit of shrimp on the barbie. Is there any water in here? There we go. Chew that up for a second. We're gonna shake and strain this. Why? People have asked, why am I gonna shake and strain? Why would I want to stir? It's got juices. You're gonna shake juices in most cases. And I've got a crap load of juices. By crap load, I mean two. It's crap load. Totally. So, my pineapple juice, ounce and a half. One. Oh, look it! This one's already measured for me. Two. A couple splashes of grenadine. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna splash it right here. One splash, two splashes. Okay, it's a quarter ounce. I'm gonna put that over there because it's super sticky. So, do I want to drizzle this over here? I can't remember. Hold on, I might want to drizzle this at the end. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do with that. I want to put that in on the end. So we won't do that just yet. And the hypnotic. 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 We've got a half ounce. That's not much. This wow, is there's hardly any alcohol in this. That's your alcohol. Done. A nice, light, refreshing Friday drink. Some people will be happy. Other people are going to be like, are you kidding me? That's your drink? That's your emotionally scarring backstory? No. Dude. I was raised by Ocelots. Literally. Shake it out. So, you can have many of these drinks. You're probably going to not have to worry about scurvy. So you're going to be good there. If in case you're going to be raiding anything on a pirate ship. You've got your pineapple vitamins. Whatever those would be. Nutrition facts, people. Ooh, that's nice. You can add more hypnotic to your desired effect. If you're looking for a little more bang for your buck, do a full ounce. Want more? Do two full ounces. Whatever makes you happy. And now you're going to drizzle some grenadine across the edges. There. Damn, that looks like a tequila sunrise. Because there's orange juice and grenadine. Dude, otherwise it'd just be alcoholic orange juice. Um, there we go. Don't forget to use my new end screen. Yeah, you're going to have to remind me. I did, I deleted right the here. old one. Uh-oh, I'm loading. I wonder if it crashed again. <sighs> Let me see. We're streaming live. Nope, all good. Okay. Just me. Hmm. Oddly, I do taste the hypnotic. It is not hidden. It is right there. It's got that tropical flavor. Not nearly the, this is a good, this recipe shows off the flavors of the hypnotic where if you use too much, touch of cognac, vodka, uh, touch of cognac, vodka, exotic fruit juices, kind of like a blend, 
It's kind of supposed to be a really hip hop vodka. But with all those other flavors they're bringing in, those kind of come through. Even with the pineapple juice and the orange juice, and the, even the grenadine, you get that hypnotic taste. It's a defining taste that is that of hypnotic. It's like a sweet tropical flavor. But typically when you use hypnotic, I also get the vodka burn in the finish. It's a, supposed to be a super premium vodka with infused flavors. So I think that would be natural. However, with this, I'm not getting that because it's only a half ounce. So what it's doing is it's bringing a lot of that aroma and flavor right to the, right to the top of the drink. It's not going to get you in a crazy state where people sometimes want to go. Um, it's, it's really just about the flavor of the hypnotic. So if you're looking for something that's flavorful in that way, but light and refreshing. However, I guess my only complaint being it's such a small build of a cocktail that if you do want two or three or four, it's just it's going to be a lot of work. So I would say if you wanted to make a highball version of this, use the same ingredients, but do like a ratio like four times that. So, you know, two and a half ounces of hypnotic against almost eight ounces worth of juice. And I think it'll give you more to work with. This is going to be so fast and it's going to be gone so quickly, but it's a good introduction to hypnotic. If you can taste hypnotic in here, you'll be able to pull it out of those other cocktails that have more complex blends of ingredients. So that's the hypnotic. The hidden hypnotic, simple, light, good. If I had a girly drink category, everybody's, oh, my girlfriend doesn't like a lot of alcohol taste. What do I want to give her? Give her this. Unfortunately, you're not going to see the show when you ask me, and I'm not going to remember to tell you about this. Or recipe. the one you made last, yesterday. Oh, the ice cream? The uh, white, the tropical white, white? tropical, that's good. That's another one. Because I'll drink that, and I'm a girly. See? But that, that, that is a lot of alcohol. This, not nearly. Yeah, but you so, don't taste it. You don't taste it. That one will wreck you. This one, you'll be okay. Uh, question of the day. Nothing? What is your... This is so much easier than now on the live stream. <laughs> your guilty pleasure. Ice cream, chocolate. Perfect. Et cetera. What is your guilty pleasure? Mine, right now, I think it always has been. Even since I've been a kid, I've been a big fan of ruffled or unruffled potato chips that are sour cream and onion flavor. Ruffled. Ruffles are, I don't know why I like the ruffles The ridges better. add so, are so much better. I don't know. It's like it adds extra love. They taste different. I don't know why. They, they do. do. They taste like awesome. It's like, like there's chips that taste like potato chips. That Maybe screws me up. they have the grease get stuck in the Grease? Ruffles. There's got to be a reason. And it adds flavor. I don't know. There you go. Guilty pleasure. Write it. That was me yelling because I, I emotionally tied to your answers. Go to everydaydrinkers.tv uh, or .com. You know what? For those that are confused, go to commonmancocktails.com. I don't care. They're all going to bring you to the same place anyway. Now you just confused them even more. Mm -hmm. I bought the domain just because I saw people trying to go there mm -hmm. in Google. We're teaching you how to drink.